Once any hero in AFK Arena reaches Mythic Ascension, they will gain access to a signature item, which is going to give them their own personal abilities, either new or enhanced. To upgrade these signature items, you will need specific emblems, and you will gain extra abilities at level 10, 20, and 30. For the normal factions being Lightbearers, Maulers, Wilders, and Graveborn, their signature items can only go up to level 30. However, for Celestials, Hypergenes, and Dimensionals, they can take their signature item up to 40, which will only give them stat increases. They only gain the extra abilities up to level 30. To obtain these emblems, you'll be getting them from doing summons, the shop, and also from a lot of special events in the game. To get to level 10 signature item, you will need purple emblems. Now these are gonna be the most abundant and easy to get. To get to level 20, you're gonna need the gold emblems. These are a little bit harder to get, but still fairly reasonable. And then to get to level 30 and for Celestials, Hypergenes and Dimensionals level 40, you will need faction emblems. Due to the limited supply of these emblems, you're going to want to choose your hero carefully. So I'm going to go through my top two picks of each faction on who I would be investing my signature item upgrades into. Firstly, from the Light Bearers, we have Rowan. Now, Rowan's a great hero on his own, but his signature item makes him so much better. So what he's going to do with his signature item is, when he sets up his potion stall at the start of the battle, it's going to include an energy potion, which is going to increase the energy of an ally once they reach 600. It's only going to be the first ally that reaches it, but it's still very effective. And with level 30 on it, it's going to increase that energy bar of the ally by 400 points, meaning as soon as they get to that 600 energy, they're going to be instantly able to ult and it can really give you the upper hand at the start of a battle. Next up is Gwyneth. Now she's got a really nice level 20 signature item. So that is the key breakpoint you want to get to with your Gwyneth. 30 is always going to be nice for the extra stats, but level 20 is going to give her the ability that whenever she uses an ultimate or an ally close to her uses their ultimate, her next arrow is actually going to fire two arrows, meaning much more damage. Also, the thing to consider with Gwyneth is if you get her to level 25 signature item, that is going to give her some more attack speed, which is really key to her kit. From the Wilders, we're going to look at Iron. Now, this makes his ultimate able to freeze enemies. On top of that, it's going to give him damage increases at level 10 and 20 signature item to enemies that are frozen. But the fantastic thing is at level 30, his freeze from his ultimate is going to be increased to a four second duration, which can really help you out in battle. And the next Wilder we have to look at is going to be Cyrus. Now, this guy functions on a two combo attack basis where he uses one attack, then another. And every time he combos them without getting into interrupted, he's going to give himself a buff. Now, once he is stacked to five stacks of that buff, he's going to start healing himself with this signature item at level 10 and 20. However, level 30 is where it gets really interesting and he starts healing his whole team. So not only does he deal the most damage to bosses, he's also going to be healing his entire team, meaning that you don't have to take a healer into the boss battles. You can instead sub that healing position out for some extra damage or someone that's going to support your damage dealer to help them deal more damage. From the Graveborn, the first one I want to look at is Izold. Now, when this guy uses his ultimate toxic transfusion, it's going to instantly apply hypodermic healing, which is his passive, which is going to heal him over time proportionate to the health he's lost, which is really nice to get that along with the ultimate. But the big thing is on top of that, when you get to level 10 and 20, it's going to give him some damage mitigation when an enemy dies during his ultimate phase, which is a buff that gives him attack and haste. But the big thing for this guy as well is level 30. When he reaches level 30 on this signature item, he cannot be controlled while using his toxic transfusion ability, which is his ultimate. So basically, as soon as he pops his ultimate, he's got a fair duration where he's going to be completely immune to any sort of crowd control and just basically do whatever he wants. Next up, we have Pharrell. Now, this guy's really nice in combat by himself. Basically, his combat style is that he tries to put spirits on the enemies, which are going to interrupt them and also drain their energy, which gives you the upper hand already. With his signature item, his normal attack critical hits are going to apply an extra spirit to the enemies. And then his 10, 20, and 30 signature items, they're all the same thing, but with increased values. And basically, what it's going to do is he's going to reduce the attack rating and also the healing received by enemies enemies and it's going to stack up to six times. Now, when you get this to level 30, his enemy's uh, attack rating is going to be reduced by 5% per stack and the health recovery rate is going to be reduced by 15% 
per stack. Like I said, stacking up to six times so you can get a lot of damage mitigation against the enemy team, but also stop them from healing themselves and allow you just to whittle them down to nothing. From the Maulers, we have Sophia. Now, what her signature item does is any bit of damage she does is going to contribute to her attack power. So the more damage she deals, the higher her attack power goes, up to a total of 140%. Now, when you get this signature item up to level 30, it's going to change her basic attack to be her Scatterbolt attack, which is a ball she throws at the enemy, which is going to stun the first enemy it hits, then split into little balls and deal damage to other enemies. And this thing deals a fair bit of damage, but also the control out of it meaning once she does unlock this she's going to be doing a lot more damage but also have a lot more control on a single enemy which is fantastic and the other mauler that i wanted to mention is going to be numisu now this guy's signature item is very unique it adds an extra ability to his kit which is going to be that at the start of the battle he's going to drop an offensive totem in the center of the battlefield which is fantastic but the other cool thing about this guy's signature item is level 10 is the key one that you want to get to and his level 10 ability is is at the beginning of the battle, he also sets down a rejuvenation totem behind his own back line. So he's going to instantly distract the enemies at the start of the battle with his offensive totem, but have a healing totem set up that's going to keep restoring the health of his teammates from the start of the battle. Really fantastic for only a 10 signature item investment. It's going to give you a lot of added effect from this guy. And you can probably stop there and save investment for other heroes. He is nice to get up to level 20 and 30. However, the fact that you get the really good effect at level 10 is nice. For Celestials Hyper G, they're fairly hard to get, but all of their signature items are really, really strong. So I'm not going to go too in-depth into them because most people won't have them, but they are just all pretty solid. The last one that I did want to cover, though, is Arthur the Dimensional. Now, you can pick him up from the Labyrinth store, and once you have obtained him, you can go ahead and pick up his faction emblems from the Labyrinth store, which makes it really easy to upgrade compared to some others. And the cool thing about his signature item, it's probably one of my favorites in the game, He's going to put an aura behind himself and at base, any teammate standing behind him in that aura is going to get an attack speed increase. For level 10 and 20 upgrades, they're also going to gain a crit buff uh, by standing behind Arthur. And the big one is his level 30. Um, at level 30, as long as there is two allies standing behind Arthur, he recovers 5% of his max health every second and also is completely immune to control effects. So as long as you can keep those two allies in the triangle behind Arthur, He's pretty tough to deal with. So that is going to be it for signature riders in the game. Keep an eye out for them. Like I said, different heroes have different breakpoints where they get really good. For instance, that Numisu at level 10 getting some really nice effect. Gwyneth at level 20 getting some really nice effect. And then others, you just really want to get them all the way to 30. Keeping in mind that every five levels also, you do get an extra stat, whether it be attack speed or dodge. So some heroes may definitely benefit from that as well. But I hope this helped you decide on what signature items you might want to upgrade hope you guys have an awesome day and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one cheers